So again, we need to talk about what is going on in our current economy. And one of the biggest things that happened just yesterday is that the US credit has been downgraded. Yes, we have been downgraded. We went from a triple A, which is the highest, it's the highest rating. Well, the, the Fitch region, uh, ratings, uh, they downgraded the US government debt to double A plus, which is the second highest. Still good, but not as good as what it was. But why is this? Why did they do this? Well, that's what we're gonna get to in today's video. Also, I wanna explain what this could mean for your money, for your future, for your personal finances. Because that was the biggest question that I got is, what does this mean? Does this mean that we now can't borrow? Does this mean that the interest rates are going to go up? What does this mean? Well, that's what I'm gonna address in today's video. All I ask is if you can spend just two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And let's get right down to it. So let me show you a couple of things. Look at this. This is the statement from the ratings agency. They say, the rating downgrade of the United States reflects the expected fiscal deterioration over the next three years. A high and growing general government debt burden and the erosion of governance relative to AA and AAA rated peers over the last two decades that has manifested in repeated debt limit standoffs and last minute resolutions. So let's address that for a second. The first thing that they are talking about right here is, well, they are talking about the last two decades where we have been to the, pretty much to the brink, where the debt limit was close, where we, and this happened just uh, two months ago, where we had to increase the debt limit. Or what happened was it, it was suspended until January 1st, okay, 2025, uh, or 2020, yeah, 2025. So right there, this just tells us that, okay, this is turning into a problem. Every single time we get so close and then Congress has to come and bail us out. Well, as of right now, we currently have $32.67 trillion in national debt. And according to the Fitch uh, agency, they expect it is going to continue to surge in the coming years amid rising social security and Medicare costs due to the aging population. They say by 2025, the agency sees the US national debt burden reaching 118% of GDP compared to around 39% for AAA rated nations. That is concerning. Within the next two years, they're expecting we are gonna reach 118% of our GDP. And they're calling out social security and Medicare costs due to aging populations. I talked about this just the other day, and I talked about how um, Representative John Larson was saying that we have more than 10,000 baby boomers that are retiring every single day, okay? We currently have 60 million people on social security. He's also saying that within the next, uh, what, 18 months, we are expected to be at about 70 million people. So in the next year and a half, we are expected to have 10 million more people retiring. Again, that means we're gonna spend more in social security and Medicare costs. Now you're probably wondering, what does this downgrade mean and how is this going to impact our wallets? Well, here's what I can tell you. When credit is downgraded, and again, we are from AAA down to AA plus. Still good, just not as good. When credit is downgraded, what this means is it usually leads to investors reconsidering because when when uh, you have you have your your uh, you know uh, when it's downgraded, what happens is investors are thinking. Now there has to be a reason why it was downgraded. Maybe it's not as safe. What if the US can't repay its debts? 
And so because investors are now thinking about that, now they want to be paid more. They want to be compensated more for somewhat of a risky investment. And so when this happens, they are expected to be compensated a little bit more, which means they want higher returns, okay? A higher rate of return. Now, who pays this interest on this debt? Well, it's the US. The US federal government pays this interest. And when they have to pay a higher interest, that means their debt is more costly. Now, when a debt is more costly, it means that they have to pay more of the money that we're bringing in, they have to pay it out as interest. They're not paying it on principal, they're paying interest. So this means they actually, or, or us, you know, the US government, we are actually losing our ability to spend. And this is stuff like um, uh, social uh, welfare programs, right? Social security. If we can't afford to pay our interest, can we afford to pay social security? SNAP benefits, right? Veterans benefits, right? Can we afford to pay all this stuff? Well, this is why it's turning into a problem. Because if we can't, for one, we can't stimulate the economy because we have no money. We're paying all that money out in interest. Where now we're struggling because the American people that absolutely you know, need uh, this additional help just to stay afloat, well, they're going to experience even tougher times. And then if all this stuff happens, just to give you an idea, it's, this is going to slow down our economy. We're not going to see uh, you know much growth at all, if any. And... We're going to experience more financial setbacks where some say this could lead us to this or that recession so we're going to see here's what i can tell you though right now the and the, here i just want to i want to read you this statement it says the larger our debt becomes let me show you this it says the larger our debt becomes and the higher our interest rates are the more our federal taxes will go to paying interest on the debt, which isn't creating anything of value for the economy or providing support for Americans. Well, here's what you need to understand. If we are struggling as a nation, if we cannot pay our debts because interest rates are too high, we're not bringing enough money from federal taxes, there's two things we can do. The number one thing we can do is we bring more money in from taxes, which means we tax more people and we tax them a higher rate. President Biden has already said, nobody making less than $400,000 per year will see a penny more in taxes. You're not paying a penny more in taxes. He would have to go back on that promise because that's not something that, that we could do. We would have to uh, go after the American people, charge them more in taxes. Second thing we can do, is we spend less money. Right now, Social Security is, everyone's been saying 2023 is a year for Social Security. However, we're not seeing a whole lot. So Social Security could be in question. SNAP benefits could be in question. Veterans benefits could be in question. TANF could be in question. All these social welfare programs that, and again, we all these people paid into Social Security, paid in for Medicare. They paid into the systems over the last 50 or 30 years, whatever it's been. And now they can't get it? That would be devastating. And so this is why you need to be well prepared. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine just the other day, and he said that he has a two-month emergency fund. Two months. He said because if he were to lose his job, and he, he does work for a larger company, if he were to lose his job, he could get a job within two months. He knows that. So he has a two-month emergency fund. I told him he should get that emergency fund close to six months or possibly even longer, maybe a year. He said, why? I said, think about it. The, our credit was just downgraded. Okay, We still have, uh, you know, Interest rates are still very high. Inflation is coming down, but it could also turn right around and go back up. We don't know what's going to go on with the housing market. We don't know what's going to happen with the stock market. But he has two months of an emergency fund. I told him, 
you need to have more. Because let's say you're, you lose your job. That would be tough, but you lose your job. Okay. But let's say gasoline prices go up. Let's say the stock market drops. Your 401k is, is worthless. Okay. And all these things are, are going against you. And he's like, well, that's not going to happen. All those things can't happen at once. Yes, they can. Right now, and here's the, here's the tough part. Okay. Here's the tough part. I just want to read you this. It says, Wall Street reversal. More and more economists are changing their minds and declaring U.S. recession fears are dead. Why would they do that? Well, the reason why they're doing that is because things are looking better. But certain parts of our economy are looking better. Other parts are still heavily in question. Right now, everyone's looking at the, the media, and, and I get questions all the time like, should I buy this stock? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I sell my home? Should I buy a home? Now's not the time to be making these, these massive financial decisions. Okay, You have to be prepared. You have to be prepared and you can't look at just the people on YouTube or on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram and or you know people on CNBC and like, well, he says I need to sell my home, so I'm going to sell my home. You have to be prepared because every single market is going to be different. Every single situation is going to be different. But one thing I can tell you and one piece of advice that I want to give you is a two-month emergency fund is not enough. It's just not enough. Okay. If we have a crisis and some expect we are going to have a crisis, it may not lead to a recession, but it will be a financial crisis. If and when this happens, it's going to take longer than two months. Okay, so be prepared. That's all I'm saying. Just be prepared. Have more money in the bank. Pay off debt. Don't have a lot of expenses. Okay, just be prepared. But that's what I want to uh, leave you with today, because again, this downgrade to our our credit it 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 can impact us. As of right now, it's not doing much. But if this continues, this could really hurt us. So just wanted to fill you in on what's going on there. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.